Hi guys, I'm Kin from Organized Hipster. Thanks so much for your purchase. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to install and use your planner. So after you download your files from Etsy, you're going to have some kind of a zipped uh, folder. So in this case, I've got this right here, this digital planner. Um, I'm using a Mac to show you this tutorial, so things are gonna look a little different on your iPad but it's not too different between the two platforms. So with your zipped file, you just really want to tap or on if in the case of being on a computer, double click. That's going to just uh, uncompress the files. And then when you open it, you'll see your two files here. So there's the uh, Monday start and the Sunday start available for you right here. So I'm going to show you how to open this in GoodNotes. This works in GoodNotes or uh, GoodNotes 5, uh, the newer version. So you'll open the actual app. This is the first way to get into, to actually import the file uh, into GoodNotes. So you'll have your um, new, you'll see on the screen it will say new. Just click on that and go to import and then find your file wherever you put it and I'm gonna just do the Monday start and click open. So GoodNotes is immediately gonna just open it up in front of you, <clears throat> and there it is. The second way that you can uh, open up a file in GoodNotes is by going directly to the file itself and then selecting it. So you wanna long press in the case of using an iPad, and then it will bring this menu up in which you'll select open with and then the app of your choice. So I'm gonna choose GoodNotes and it's already there as you saw but I'm going to import it as a new document and then GoodNotes places it in my documents folder. So if you're working with another application, another annotation app like Notability and, or if you're on uh, an Android device um, then you'd probably be working with something like Zoto um, it's probably going to be a similar process. You would just go to the actual app and you would um, import the document. You would click the import button and then bring the document in like that. Or you would do it the second way where you just select on the file itself and then you would uh, open with the, um, the app of your choice. So now we're in the planner and I'll show you how to use it. Of course, you want to try to customize it and make it your own. I'm going to just use this section and put in my name. So, Ken, Ken, but I, it just keeps auto-correcting to Ken. <laughs> um, so, the first thing that's really important to mention is with GoodNotes, if you've never used GoodNotes before. So, right now, we're in annotation mode, which is why you see this menu. Uh, these are all your tools. You know, you can use your highlighter. You can use your pen, your eraser, your lasso tool to select things. This is your elements or stickers uh, selection tool and pictures, um, type, and then of course a little laser beam if you're giving a presentation. Let's click this button right here and then that will take us to read mode. So if you notice the menu disappeared, or this is where your hyperlinks become active. So again, when you're in annotation mode, when you're in this edit mode, you cannot access your hyperlinks. So just remember that. And then if you start off on the first page, your index page, you'll see all the links to all the pages, the different sections of this planner. So we have our yearly overview, monthly plan, weekly plan, daily plan, and then all the other sections. And you can also access all those sections through the tabs right here. Everything is hyperlinked on every page with these tabs. So for example, we have our yearly, this is the cover, and then you just click there and it takes you directly to your yearly overview. Similarly, you can get there by clicking yearly overview on the actual index page. From your yearly over overview, you can access any month. So let's click on February, and then February can take you right back to that yearly overview. So all your months are obviously in here in the monthly section. So that's where you're connecting. You will also see links to each of those months right here. So same thing. And it's really easy to get back to where you are. So that's your monthly section. You can also flip through 
as if you were flipping through pages. Next up, we have weekly. So there are two different versions of the weekly layout for you to choose from. You can use both. Some people actually like using both because they just like having more information, uh, you know, or they kind of alternate between them. So this is the first one. And then you can see that it's broken down into work and life uh, tasks. You can fill in the days uh, of the month in here, the week that you're in, the month, and then this is the second version right here for people who want a little bit more writing space um, sort of horizontally with three main tasks to conquer for the day. So now we are at the daily menu. So the daily schedule menu. So it's organized by months here. And if you click on any of these months, you're going to get taken to the first of every month. So this is February the 1st, indicated by a line underneath the one, and then February is highlighted um, the same for any other month. So whenever you click on each month, obviously the default is the first of the month, and then you can click any day. So I'm going to show you the other parts of the planner. You've got your habits, health, wealth, goals, notes, extras, and you'll notice these two extra little tabs here. These are customizable sections for you. So starting with the habits, you've got your weekly habit tracker, your 30-day habit tracker, and if you notice, there are three of each. And then these are meant for you to make copies of them as you go along. Moving on to health, and you've got your meal planner, mood tracker, gratitude journal, workout tracker. Same thing applies is that you would sort of uh, make copies as you go. Um, this is done so that you it saves uh, on space and it uh, prevents lag. Moving forward, um, you have your wealth section where you can track your math, your monthly budget, your income, your expenses, your goals section where you would sort of list out all your goals in this grid what you would do at that point is you take each one and write it down here, the one, so you choose your one, write it down here, how will achieving it impact your life? Write down the big steps. So for example, if you wanted to lose weight, how would that impact your life? You'd feel healthier, you'd probably have more energy. Um, what would be the big step, for example, would be um, you want to get more exercise, so you'd write that in and then your baby steps would be making a gym membership, maybe getting a personal trainer, finding some YouTube channels to follow uh, to, you know, start your exercise routine. Another thing would be eating healthy. What would that include? Adding more proteins, lean proteins, removing sugars, uh, anti-inflammatories, things like that. So next you have your notes, and this is probably uh, a lot of people's favorites because it really gives this journal a feeling of being yours and being like a notebook that you would, you know, write notes in and uh, maybe perhaps keep a daily journal for yourself. The great thing is that you can make uh, as many copies as you like of these papers, of these nine different styles that you have here. Um, and so I'm going to show you the easy way of making a quick copy of duplicate of any page. So I've got three copies in here already of this margin lined paper, but suppose I've, you know, written on all these three and I want to continue. So I would easily just go here and then uh, select after. because so I want to make sure that the page page comes after the one that I'm on right now and then select the current template and that just creates an extra page. It's super easy to do it. Um, as you go along. Next we have your extras section where you'll see a password tracker and you will see a birthday tracker. Uh, feel free to make as many copies of these as you need. And finally we have the last two tabs here that are the, the customizable sections. So I'm going to click here and you will see that uh, I've written in gr uh, gratitude journal. My intention is to turn this into the gratitude journal um, by putting in those pages that I have in this journal in this section. You can access this section either by the these two tabs or you can uh, go straight up to the index and access it from there. And you can, of course, write in whatever it is over here for yourself. 
and go there. So here's the other way to duplicate pages. Again, it's really easy. You want to enter the grid mode this time. So we're not going to be going through this version. We're going to go here and I'm going to actually go to the page grid view where I can see all my thumbnails. So this blue line indicates where we are. And as you can see, there is actually already a copy of this page in here, but I will show you how to do it. So I'm going to go up to where you will find the gratitude journal, which is in your health section, and you'll see uh, the, gr the gratitude journal. So I'm going to just select, click select, and then check off the one that you want. So check off gratitude journal, then click copy. And then you can get out of here, close that, go right to the section that you want. So you're here in gratitude journal. From here, you can click this page right here. Where do you want it? Select after. We're going to put it after this gratitude journal cover. And then you're going to select paste page. Pretty straightforward. So it's just added um, a, another gratitude journal page. I had this one from before. But that's how easy it is. Then once you've done that, you don't need to do that step. You can easily just duplicate the page from the page that you're on by accessing this button. Again, the little page icon with the plus sign in it. And you would say after current template. And there you go. So a few other things for you to keep in mind, just so you understand how to use your planner. If you want to delete certain pages, that's really easy. Let's say you make too many of one page, you duplicate too many copies. Just go to your grid view um, up here on the left. And then there are two ways that you can do it. So you can either just tap this little arrow and then it opens up the menu in which you can select move to trash. And of course, this is you'd be selecting the page that you want to delete in your uh, you'd find it in this uh, page grid. Or the other option is and it's great if you have more than one page you want to delete, you'd click select and then you would select whatever pages you want to delete and then hit trash. So that concludes the tutorial on how to install and use your planner. If you have any issues at all, just reach out to me on Etsy and I'll be in touch with you rather quickly. If you purchased stickers or stickers came with this uh, purchase of a digital planner, then there is a separate tutorial on how to install and use your stickers. So uh, that should be included in the actual download files and uh, it would be on Etsy as well as inside your actual files. Thank you so much and don't forget to follow your joy like a badass.